Hello, this is Margaret with Whimsy North, and today I want to give you some tips and tricks on picking out colors of yarn for your Gloria hat or headband. I uh, This pattern comes with two different chart options. You can use either six colors or three. All of these, um, both of these hats use the six colors, and the headband, um, features five different colors. So I kind of wanted to show you my samples, how I choose yarn um, to make sure that your pattern really pops and that you get the look that you're wanting. So one tip is to mix and match either all solid colors or some speckles and some solids. So you'll see on this first hat here, I'll pull it out. Okay, so on this first hat here, I used a mix of solids and speckles. I did about half and half, So, um, and some of them are a little variegated as well. This main color here, Happy Camper, this is all Summer Camp Fibers yarn. This main color is speckled, and it also runs through this section here, and then this section of the chart here. You'll see that on your chart in the pattern. And because it is speckled, I did pair it next to a solid color so that the speckles would really show up and you could see the zigzags in the solid. This blue color is also a speckled yarn and I put it in between two, um, this is kind of more of a tonal, but two solid colors so that you could really see the speckles. Now, You'll see in this section here, I use the blue next to the gray speckle and they almost kind of disappear into each other. Part of that has to do with their value, but it also has to do with the fact that they're both speckled yarns. So it works with the pattern because at least the solid pink here pops um, and then that background kind of disappears. But if I would have done the two speckles next to each other in any of this design here, then you might not be able to see the pattern as well. And I'm actually going to show that in, this is my um, youngest daughter's hat and she chose these colors. And you can see how I did this speckled yarn next to this one. So they're more of a, um, you know, variegated, yarn color than a solid. I did them next to each other in this section and that zigzag really disappears. Where in this hat, you can really see the design with the two solids together. In this one, that section really kind of gets lost. Part of that is because they're both speckled so that some of the tones end up being very similar. Um, so that's something to keep in mind when you're choosing your colors. It still works for the overall design. It's just a little bit more watercolor look um, because I also did this purple speckle as kind of the main design. And the purple ends up being next to this orange. So you can see how in the center here, you can kind of see the orange and the purple, but there are times when it gets a little muddier. And same with this section down here where I used the rainbow sprinkles next to the purple and because they both have purple tones in them, there are times when the purple is light and dark in each one and somewhat similar and therefore this top section gets a little lost. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're choosing your yarns. If you like more of a um, poppy design where every little stitch detail is shown, then I would recommend going with more solid colors like these here. If you like more of that watercolor look where you can still see the design but some of the elements are a little bit more washed out, then you can do more speckles. In the headband that I did, I wanted to kind of pull in colors from both of the other projects so that they would somewhat coordinate. And so I did use a couple speckles 
for the background. And then for the main color, I used that bright turquoise so that it would kind of pop and you could see that pattern. Um, another thing to keep in mind is your yarn values. So when I'm choosing the yarn colors for the different designs, especially in this center section here where you have that motif that pops out and then the background colors, what you want to do is make sure that the, if you want the motif to pop, you want to make sure you pick a color that is going to be of a high contrasting value to the background colors. It could be a lighter in value or darker in value, depending on what you want it to look like. So this one has a darker value. All the other colors behind it are lighter, so it pops out. Again, that's the same with this one, where it has lighter values in the background and a darker value on top, as well as this blue one, where even though this color is a little bit darker, the blue still has an even darker value. Now, one of my tricks for deciding values in your yarn colors is to put your colors next to each other. And first you want to see, you know, do the colors look pretty together? Do you like the way that they're looking? Does the color story work for you? Um, so for example, like this would be, um, you know, lots of blues and purples. And if you added in this color, um, you know, does it really fit or does it not? Or if you added in maybe this color instead. Um, now, these ones are a very colorful. I actually don't know. I would say this was my original um, design. And then like I said, my daughter picked out these colors and I wasn't exactly sure on them, but I actually really think it's super fun. I love the bright pops of neon and kind of the watercolor look to it. Um, and so I kind of tried to mimic a little bit of that in my headband. And to be honest, it's not my favorite. I love all the colors individually. And I think maybe what I would have changed is um, potentially keep this section here but change the um, pink so that it's not all pink and maybe use a different color right here just to kind of switch things up. So that's um, one thing that I would maybe change. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I take black and white photos of the yarn so we can talk about the values and how they look a little bit different. Here is a black and white photo of those colors. And as you can see, these actually would work really well together because they have three different values. There's a dark on the left, a medium in the middle, and a light on the right. So these colors would be a really good option if you wanted to pair them together in your hat. Here's an example of two colors that look really pretty together. And you might consider putting them in your hat next to each other. But when you take a black and white photo of them, you can see that they are actually very close in value. They are both very light colors and therefore would not show up very well if they were next to each other. You can still use them in your hat, but you'd probably want them to be in different areas of the hat chart. In this example, I paired a variegated yarn with a solid, so you can see what it looks like when you take a black and white photo of them and whether they work together. So this one has two different values. The one on the left is a medium value with the variegated and the one on the right is the solid and it has a darker value. So these would actually work next to each other if you paired them um, next to each other in the chart. Here's my first sample in a black and white photo that shows you the differences in value from each yarn and how they work next to each other. Here is the one I did for my other daughter where some of the areas do get a little lost and you can see that in this black and white photo and some other uh, areas pop. Okay, 
So I hope that helps you in selecting colors for your project. Again, you can find this pattern on Etsy and Ravelry under Whimsy North, and it comes in options for the whole family. This is the youth size, the toddler size, and the adult size headband. There's not only a hat pattern available, but a headband pattern as well. It is more of a fitted beanie, so you can choose to add a palm or you don't have to. And it um, is knit in worsted weight yarn. All of the yarn I've shown today is from Summer Camp Fibers and I will link their shop in the description below. If you're looking for fun colors to knit your hats or any of my original um, designs, you can find all of these yarn colors on their website. And please hit subscribe and follow along if you're looking for more knitting information and content. Thank you so much.